Thanks. Um, look, uh, it looks really cool, but I'm, I'm wondering for a distributed system, how well does it really scale? Because it took, for, for nine services, it took quite a while for, the, for them to find each other. And if yeah. I understand correctly, every time a connection drops, everybody needs to be notif notified. So if you get a really big network, if yeah, you get um, uh, at the moment, um, uh, the client is also programmed uh, to uh, connect to uh, uh, nine servers in the initial state. Uh, so when it's bigger, uh, that, that's the uh, skill system. Let me uh, get the sheet. Um, um, it's one of those. This is the idea. Um, so uh, it's a bit slow because uh, the client and the server are running. Uh, so the blue ones. Uh, those are what you see, and uh, those are the servers you are connected to. And the other ones uh, aren't connected. Um, with a large number of users in a, in a virtual world, there's probably quite a, a big possibility that a fair bit of abuse could go on. How do you prevent abuse in your decentralized environment? Uh, did you? Uh, no, sorry, I didn't hear it. Um, because if there was a large number of users on the system, Somebody could potentially grief other users. They could put potentially illegal content up there. How do you prevent abuse? Yeah, pre preventing abuse is uh, very difficult because it's uh, de decentralized. Uh, when you go to uh, safer systems, uh, which are uh, or easier safer systems, uh, you go easy to a, a centralized way uh, with perhaps uh, one controller server or something. But we uh, want to keep it decentralized. Um, so uh, the trusted server protocol uh, can do a lot. Uh, but, but I think uh, loads of, of extensions are needed uh, to make it uh, much uh, more safer. Cheers. It's time Kay. for one more question. Uh, I'm curious, does the um, can the current map system uh, wrap around itself? Can uh, uh, servers on the edge, uh, as I see there, uh, connect to each other? Um, did you uh, hear it? I yeah, heard well, it. The okay. they connect to each other. You mean that? Yeah, whether the, you've got the nine, the nine field grid. Oh, can, yeah. the, can the outer uh, servers yeah. connect to each other to wrap yep. around? Uh, I did some experiments uh, with that. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, what I did is uh, I had two servers uh, connected to each other on the west and east. Uh, I con connected to the, uh, the north of the uh, left server, uh, to the south of the right, and it uh, rendered, yeah, it extended in, uh, uh, yeah, uh, so, so it, it, it was looped. Uh, so that's possible, but... Um, there are some, still some bugs uh, because it isn't built for that, but uh, we, can, we can use it as a feature. With some modification to the client, it uh, should be possible. Okay, uh, thank you uh, for listening. Uh, I hope to see uh, you guys at the workshop. Uh, Bike Chat Green. <laughs> thank you. Okay, next speaker is uh, Mr. Don Hopkins. Uh, he's also talking about uh, an, a virtual world called Macropolis Online. So please wait till he, till he has set up his uh, equipment. Um, during that I can repeat the announcements uh, which I made earlier. The iPhone talk at 1900 tonight uh, has been cancelled. At 2300 tonight, there will be an extra panel session on WikiLeaks, so please join us all. And the sessions at 1600, relaunch of Bits of Freedoms, is now in, in the two envelope stand, which is on the other side. And Tempest for the casual election record is going to the Monty Hall.
questions uh, during the talk or after the talk? Uh, after the talk. After the talk. <laughs> questions, please, after the talk. Uh, okay. Does that work? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm Don Hopkins, and this is the Micropolis Online Project. And uh, the, I'll give you a quick history and then try to get through the slides to the demo. Um, I started working on SimCity about 1992. And I, when I saw it at college, before that, I just fell in love with it and really wanted to figure out how it worked and to uh, uh, do stuff with the user interface and everything. So when I had the chance to port it to the Sun workstation, I jumped at that and then um, made a, um, a version of it using the news window system, James Gosling's PostScript-based window system, and then uh, an X11 version that was multiplayer. So, so we sold that as a Unix uh, product. So then that went out of... Uh, the contract expired on that and later on, I, I went on to Maxis to work on The Sims with Will Wright, and then I dredged up this SimCity code, and we talked Electronic Arts into making it open source under the GPL v3 a few years ago. So um, now the the uh, argument, or not the argument, it was actually they were very uh, pleasant about it. So the thing that convinced them t that it was a good idea was the One Laptop Per Child project, because uh, the OLPC project is focused on constructionist education, which is about children learning or anyone learning by building things. And SimCity is pretty much the quintessential constructionist education game. And, but it needs to be opened up uh, so that